Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you, spending some time with you, talking to you about you and your business. And as always, we have a lot to cover on our show. I've got Sam Coyle on the program, and he's a great contributor, and I love spending time uh, with him, learning about what's happening here on uh, the the technology uh, front, which is what his company, uh, Natrepid, uh, focuses on. Give us give us your elevator speech, if you will, about Natrepid, and then introduce your guest today. And as always, welcome, Sam. Great, thank you. Uh, yeah, well, my name is Sam Coyle, uh, president for a company called Netrepid. We're a nationally uh, a national service provider of cloud services and virtual hosting. Uh, we're based out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, and I have I with us today um, my friend Charles Weaver. He is the CEO of MSP Alliance, and he's been doing some really neat things with um, implementing some standards and some new uh, some new uh, standard thoughts on on how we can ma- better manage data and, uh, and security. So. Well, welcome to both of you, gentlemen. Charles, why don't you tell us a little bit about your company uh, before we jump in with our questions? Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to be here. Yeah, um, my name is Charles Weaver. I'm CEO of the Man- Managed Service Provider Alliance, the MSP Alliance. And we're a 14-year-old organization comprised of about 20,000 service providers like Sam uh, around the world. And we are basically trying to make managed services and cloud services and cloud computing a much safer place for both uh, both the service providers and the customers that they serve. And so we have standards, we do events and education, and uh, we've been uh, you know, we're fighting the fight for a long time now. Yeah, interesting. Sam, how did you two know each other, Sam? Uh, we, we're, NetTech is actually a member of the MSP Alliance, uh, and we've, uh, we found that we had a lot of uh, mutual interest in on um, data security and providing quality data services, so uh, that would be a good fit for us. Yeah, very good. Go ahead with your first question, Sam. Well, Charles, I, I know we've talked previously. I thought maybe you could kind of give an overview of what you thought were you know, the biggest challenges facing our clients as, as it relates to data security and uh, maybe talk about some of the uh, challenges they're facing. Yeah, it, it, it's a great question. I'll try to keep it really short because it, it's a – it's an important question and not always easy to answer. The data security, data privacy is really front and center now, right? It used to be something that was only part of, uh, you know, a technical community, you know, discussion, right? It, it, within the IT channel or in the IT business, it was very common. But, you know, everyday people and businesses weren't necessarily always thinking about it. Well, now you've got cloud computing. You know, everyone knows about cloud. You put your photos and your music out there. And now you've got these organizations, you know, in the U.S. government who are being, you know, accused of, well, are they, are they looking at our data in the public cloud? Are they not? You know, who, who has access to it? Who doesn't? And these are really important larger public policy issues. But, you know, groups like the MSP Alliance and, and Intrepid, our, one of our members, you know, are working very, very hard to make sure that customers and individuals, users, are, are having their data protected and secured. And I think that's just a larger, you know, longer-term issue of, of education. Uh-huh. Charles, let me ask you. So uh, it sounds like see, guys, well, I originally got the impression that you, know, you guys are, are trying to battle groups like uh, uh, Anonymous or that you're trying to fight uh, pot- potential state-sponsored uh, espionage when it comes to the Internet. But you're just talking about general attitudes uh, when it comes to and guidelines and, and I guess you could say even best practices when it comes to data. Is that what you're really talking about? I think you hit the nail on the head. We're not we're not getting into the public policy debate of whether or not you know the U.S. government or NSA with this whole you know Prism uh, program of you know whether it's good or bad for them to be tapping into public cloud vendors and just you know sometimes indiscriminately it seems gathering data on individual users. The the undeniable fact is whether you're again for or against that public policy issue, the rest of the world is reacting. The rest of the world, in you know, places like Germany and Australia and the EU and Brazil, are all saying, wow, this is really raising concerns about do we put our data into the U.S. cloud? Do we keep it here in our country? Personally, you know, I, I live in America, so I, I think that there are great upsides to this because companies like, like Sam's um, are, are actually doing really good work, and, and I consider them to be on the front lines of actually protecting uh, customer data and privacy, and they're doing it through what I'll, call, I'll just call generically private cloud, which is the antithesis of, of public cloud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, I, maybe you could just define you know for some of the people out there that may not 
Ben, I have the background on really the difference between a private and a public cloud. Uh, maybe just kind of give a little a little definition just so people understand what, what you mean when you're comparing the two. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good question. I, I guess the many different answers, but the, the simplistic answer, um, the easy answer would be if public cloud is something like you know, Google or Microsoft or, or Apple's iCloud, where you, you don't necessarily know where the data is residing, right? You don't actually physically always know on what server that is or in which data center that, that server resides or in which state or even which country sometimes. And so because you can't define it, because you can't audit and trace it directly to some physical place very easily, um, private cloud where, you know, for example, Sam, you, you know, you do hosting, we, we can trace it, right? We can know exactly where it is, how it's being protected, how it's being secured. That, that's kind of our definition of private cloud. And most people aren't really aware that that option is available for them. And, you know, we're just trying to raise awareness uh, to, to the general consumer. Yeah, very interesting. By the way, Charles, give your website real quickly. Yeah, uh, people can go find us at www.mspalliance.com. Yeah, very good. Sam, another question? Is the, uh, the Obviously, being able to protect your data in a private cloud is, is important. Um, with people more worried about security concerns, um, what what have you guys done with any type of standards or, or education? I know you guys just had your... Um, your annual convention, maybe to talk about some of the things that came up um, from that that maybe relate to you know, how people might be able to put better standards in place. Yeah, we, we, we just had our annual uh, event, um, MSP World, uh, just this past week uh, in San Jose, California. Um, the, the, our board of managed service providers for about 10 years now has been working on and, and, and improving our standard for cloud and managed services certification and audit. So what that is is essentially giving customers greater transparency and comfort and assurance that the provider that they're using is actually, you know, doing everything that they should to protect and secure their data. And so we've had MSPs from all over the world converge, you know, at our conference, and we're talking about issues, and they're saying, well, it's helping us sell. It's helping us be better providers to be able to give our customers a level of assurance that says, you know what? We're not like, you know, all these other big public cloud vendors who may be indiscriminately giving your data away to third parties or letting them access it. It's, it's a really important thing. Um, the, the MSPs, certainly, the, the service providers are very aware of it, and I think their customers are as well. All right. Got to wrap it up. Sam Coyle and Charles Weaver, they are our guests today. Sam Coyle is a regular contributor here on The Price of Business. You can check him out at Nutrepid.com. Thanks to both of you gentlemen. Thank you. Very informative. All right, when we come back, much more for you. Do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, okay, the Adams family.